Hello and welcome to the IMS 2016 in San Francisco. My name is Martin Tim. I'm the marketing director of CST. Today I want to give you a slight overview and a little bit of help on how to select the correct EM solver for your application. So generally from a technical perspective you can divide the application areas into a rather electrically large structure or small structures and you can also divide them into narrow band or wide band structures. And this is what you see in this chart basically. So if you are looking for wide band structures that can also be rather large, you would probably go for a transient solver like the FIT solver or TLM solver in the CST Studio Suite. You could also, in a, in a smaller structures, probably a rather narrow band like filters for example, the FEM solver might be a good alternative. And finally, if these structures get larger, you might want to go for the method of moments or even an asymptotic solver for very large structures. So the electrical size, that's of course a very important concept. You see two planes, basically one UEV, one front plane here, they have a certain geometric size, one time it's 8 meters, another 38 meters. But if you look at this at 100 megahertz, the electrical size is not that big actually. So it's 2.7 wavelengths for the, for the drone and another uh, 13 wavelengths for the airplane. But if you look at the typical radar frequency around 10 gigahertz, they are su uh, suddenly quite large. So 275 wavelengths for the drone then and 1300 wavelengths for the airplane. And depending now on this electrical size, you would have to choose one of the solvers. And the solvers that you see up here in the upper row of this table, they are solvers that are available, available in the CST Studio Suite. So what does this mean? It's very important to have this, this capability to choose between various solvers. So, and, and all this is things that you are able to do within one user interface with, with us. Now it might happen that you have actually a very small and detailed structure on a very huge platform, for example, an antenna on an aeroplane. In this case, hybridization would be something that helps you to solve this problem. And this again is an option that we offer within our software. But you might also want to extend beyond the microwave and RF region. So on the one hand, it might be very low frequency simulation, but you might also want to consider signal integrity or EMC. And for all this, you basically need different types of solvers that with different capabilities. And it's very convenient if they are all located in one interface and you can switch between, e between them easily depending on the application that, that you're doing. Very important today here is for us the multi-physics mode because we are previewing today uh, a conjugate heat transfer solver which is good for calculating electronic cooling. So what, what you see here is the, the airflow around the cooling element of, on a chip for the conjugate heat transfer solver. So this is something that you would tackle with that kind of simulation. To summarize, there are three pillars for, for EM simulation success. And the one is the accuracy. The accuracy depends basically on the meshing, on the material modeling. So can you include nonlinearities, frequency dependencies, also on the numerical accuracy of the solvers, of course. Then there's the speed. The simulation speed depends actually on can you, can you do the, choose the right solver for the, for the job. And this is what I wanted to convey. If you have a large variety of solvers available in this one interface, there is the right solver for the job there. And of course, you can employ high performance computing capabilities, cluster computing, uh, graphics acceleration computing. And finally, there's the usability. In the end, you want to have, be able to use the software. You want to integrate with other workflows. You want to be able to model in a reasonable time very complicated structures. All this is something that we, that we deliver with the CST Studio Suite. And if you happen to be a student, we also have just released the 2016 version of the CST Studio Suite Student Edition. Thank you for your attention.